just get, well, you used to get half your power from them. Now you get 30-something percent. You notice your power bill is a lot higher. Okay, chumps. But you go, well, it's for the earth. I'm glad that Texas was supplying four states surrounding it. From Colorado, Oklahoma, Louisiana, New Mexico. Now Texas can't supply her own power after six years of Obama. But don't worry, more than 19, last time I checked, new giant coal power, dirty plants opened right on the Texas border in Mexico. They shoot pure black smoke, mercury out the top, no scrubbers on them. They're much smaller, just a smokestack and the, and the big uh, coal burners that turn the turbines that get generated from the boiled water. And they just belch it right out and it blows right in and blows on the Mexicans and our totally clean plants are getting shut down and not allowed to open. Just 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 thought I'd remind you. <laughs> Cause you know, here's here's Google. I'm doing pretty good getting into the stack, but Google goes off the climate change deep end. Eric Schmidt, the head of Google, in a NPR interview. Went on to say that it is that that, that that no one is debating it. It's the same Al Gore quote, 100%, all scientists agree, and we should just accept everything. Town Hall has a transcript. Remember, this guy owns wide body, full jets. He flies around, last time I checked, in his own personal 777. One of the other big Google dons I was reading is buying one of those new giant Airbuses. You know, the ones that can hold like 300 people. Big, huge bedrooms in them, party suites, everything. There's only a few folks flying on them when they fly. And that's great. If you didn't get your money from inside deals, and if you didn't want to tell Africans they can't have a car or can't have air conditioning, and you're telling us we can't have anything, just like Al Gore says when he makes money off the carbon taxes, Google is heavily invested in the different carbon trading schemes. And it's a pure cold-blooded scam to selectively tax energy for every major company and corporation and individual but General Electric, Google, and others who pay zero taxes. And if you go back to five years ago, Obama signed an executive order exempting General Electric from the carbon orders he put out that shut down the power plants. Look it up. In fact, guys, just type it into the, to the NSA, the public arm of it, Google. <clears throat> just type in General Electric gets power plant waiver from Obama. And I have this pet peeve. I mean, I talk about power plants at least once a week because it's such a perfect example of how my grandfather never talked about it. After he died, we dug through his letters and manuals and commendations and his Army Air Corps manual. They had like a class manual graduating. And in there were some of the letters of things they did, like bombing German power plants. Well, see, that's what an enemy does. They blow up your power plants. Well, the globalists just turn the power plants off, but leave their power plants on, and then rake you over the coals. It's such a sick joke. 180 plus countries, only about 15 of them are trying to put the carbon taxes in. Australia, some European countries, the UK, the US, Pachari, who was the head of the UN climate body, turned out he lobbied to get a bunch of steel plants shut down and coal plants in England, and turned out he owns them in India and actually had those very plants, uh, engineers and, and, and ownership in the same companies, move to India. That's all it is, is your company shut down, mine's allowed to operate. That's all it is. Cold-blooded gangster thugism. 110% laughing at you and your family while Schmidt flies around on a 777 loaded with the beauty queens of the world. And hey, I'm a libertarian, buddy. You do what you want. But don't you sit around. Don't you sit around while you build this artificially intelligent takeover system in your own words. Look it up. And tell people they don't deserve to have turkey on Christmas. I am sick of you pigs. The real pigs of the New World Order, ladies and gentlemen, not the police they want us to get in a shooting war with.
The real pigs of the Federal Reserve. They're the real problem. They're the foreign banks squatting on this country. We've got some special reports on the Federal Reserve coming up. Some from Christmas present, some from Christmas past. The CDC just announced flu vaccines may have the wrong strain of flu virus. You may not be protected. Whatever your lifestyle, your immune system is critical, and Immudine provides your immune support. Doctor recommended, stimulant free, and not found in pharmacies. Go to Immudine.com to find out more or to place an order, or call 866-257-8668. That's I M M U D Y N E dot com or 866-257-8668. Remember, Immudine is key support for your immune system. Managing your business and customers isn't easy, huh? Snapforce Customer Relationship Software may be just what you need. Snapforce CRM is a software solution that helps you manage everything important about your customers, from sales to marketing to service and support. All of your customer information is right there at your fingertips for easy access. It's time to take control of your business in a snap. Get your free trial at snapforce.com. That's S-N-A-P-F-O-R-C-E.com. Snapforce.com. 2015 is almost here, and with it comes those New Year's resolutions to finally transform your body the way you want it. There's a reason over 88% of New Year's resolutions fail. Make this year different by equipping yourself with Oxy Powder, the next level in cleansing the body naturally. Using Super Oxygenation, Oxy Powder, available through InfoWarsLife.com, gently cleanses the body while you sleep with easy capsules. Tens of thousands of individuals have used Oxy Powder to cleanse their bodies and aid in their transformations. Even InfoWars Nightly News Director Rob Dew has been using Oxy Powder with incredible success. Took it that first day, then I took it for six more days after that. 12 pounds melted off in about a week. I'd say a week, seven days. 2015 can be different. Diet and exercise are important, but a lot of us have already tried that. Oxy Powder flushes it out. Secure your Oxy Powder at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Hey, everyone. I'm having lots of fun with my new Ghost 80% AR-15. This baby shoots like a dream. Hey, thanks, Guns80.com. You know, friends ask me all the time why I wanted a Ghost AR-15. That's easy. You see, my buddy Mark kept telling me that I'd better go to Guns80.com to get myself a Ghost AR-15 before they outlawed them. I thought he was just paranoid, so I ignored it. Well, at first. But then I started hearing government media types talking about making guns illegal, about the president signing on to a U.N. treaty that could take my gun rights away. You know, it really bugged me. So I dug in, I did the research, and I realized that Mark was right all along. I know now that having an unregistered Ghost AR-15 is the right answer. I'm a proud 80% Ghost AR-15 convert. You should be, too. The answer is really simple. Get your Ghost AR-15 at guns80.com. The big sale is on right now. Go to guns80.com. That's guns80.com. Guns80. The number's 80.com. What disaster is so powerful, it unleashes a chain of mass pandemics, economic meltdowns, and violent food riots, all at the same time? NASA has already set the countdown timer, and right now the 21st century apocalypse is less than 13 months away. Former CIA Director James Woolsey says two-thirds of U.S. population could perish. In a matter of seconds, the world as we know it will cease to exist. The world's economy will be wiped out. Mass riots will follow. Ancient diseases will reemerge. How will you shield yourself and your loved ones from this upcoming apocalypse? Go to darkestdays.info to find out proven methods of protecting yourself, your loved ones, and even your entire community when this worst-case scenario unravels. That's D-A-R-K-E-S-T-D-A-Y-S dot I-N-F-O. Darkestdays.info. Go there before this life-saving information becomes unavailable to the large public. Go to darkestdays.info now. Crashing through the lies and disinformation. It's Alex Jones, only on the GCN Radio Network. Coming up in the next segment, the InfoWars Nightly News Director, Rob Dew, did a little piece, a Christmas New Year's message from the private run-for-profit Federal Reserve we're going to be airing. And we premiered this last year. It's a wonderful lie. And no matter where we put it on the Internet, it got pulled and censored because it's based on It's a Wonderful Life. Totally covered by fair use. Totally covered by commentary. 
110%, but they're really scared of this video slash audio. So if you're a radio listener, you want to go to Infowars.com forward slash show so you can see us stream this live. You'll also be able to hear it, obviously, as a radio listener. It's radio theater. But you'll have to just save this for yourself um, because uh, they don't let you post it on YouTube or anywhere else. They pull it down within minutes. And the Federal Reserve has propagandists in every major city on record trying to fight the public discovering that this is a foreign occupational government, corporate government in control that's used our country to take control of the planet. So that is coming up. And who works for them? Well, back in 1913, on December 23rd, now 101 years ago and three days. Remember last year? Last December 23rd, 2013, marked the 100th anniversary of the Private Federal Reserve. Well, we are now into the 101st year now being over. We're now 101 years uh, into this monstrosity. And that same day, they claimed that all, whatever amount of states it was at the time, I've, there's books on it, the law that never was, and others who have constitutional lawyers on it. There weren't 50 states at the time. They claimed a majority had ratified it, and simple research of the state records show that almost all the states did not ratify it or never even voted on it. But they got up and announced that it was now the law. The income tax. Almost every time that Ron Paul, uh, when he was a congressman, would be on CNN or Fox News, they would say, you want to get rid of the IRS? How will we run the country? And he would usually be in the Capitol or with the Capitol in the background. I saw him do this at least 10 times over the years, and he would say, this Capitol got built before we had an income tax. This country had a 10% growth rate on average before 1913. The income tax wasn't implemented widespread until the 40s as a war tax. Then it was like half your income if you were middle class. Something like 30% for the poor. So Kennedy talked to economists because they kept it from the World War II on and he repealed the wartime tax, made him very popular. And so when you hear he cut taxes by 50%, that's because some tax brackets were above 50%. And he cut it down to almost nothing. That sounds so radical today that a Democrat would do something like that. It's because the Democratic Party today does not resemble the Democratic Party in any shape or form of 1961. Government knows that when you massively cut taxes, you increase tax revenues. And you know why that is? A lot of states have like a week where they won't have sales tax, so they'll cut it in half. And then revenues sometimes will double or triple. It's because people then shop more when they have more discretionary income. That stirs confidence and more spending, more productivity. But the globalists want a post-industrial world where Google executives have, you know, 10, 15 houses apiece, four or five wives, 10, 15, 20, 30 mistresses on record. And when I say on record, you can look up news articles where some of these Google guys I'm on today have like 30 girlfriends that get on the airplane with them. Oh, there's Schmidt getting on the airplane with like 30 women, and he, he and others have them wear bags over their heads like Michael Jackson, veils, so people can't see what porn star they're loading on. He wants privacy, but you don't get it. But what I'm getting at here is we are now 101 years under the private, mainly European bank-owned Federal Reserve. It's not federal. That's just a fact. Think of the fraud of that. And 101 years of the IRS, where General Electric, Google, basically all of them are tax-exempt. They wrote the laws, Warren Buffett, but they're coming for you. They're increasing audits of blue-collar workers. Just search engine that. They take them off the rich people, and they put them on you or the middle class. And now the IRS is still penalizing Christine O'Donnell the second time, placed levy on bank accounts. The IRS says it's a mistake. They are intensifying their persecution. This is a group of totalitarian, 
criminal thugs who'd love to have a Bolshevik-style revolution in this country and line conservatives, libertarians up and shoot us. I'm telling you, they are bloodthirsty. Scum. We're on the march.